You know what? I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again right now. Probably the best thing about Into the Radius is the- The weapons in Into the Radius simply hit different. There's no other way to put it. Every gun in Into the Radius has a crazy amount of detail. You can upgrade the guns as is. And truthfully, it's it's a gigantic part of what makes Into the Radius so much fun. Brother, guns in Into the Radius are pretty much the foundation of the game. We gotta maintain them, all right? Polish them, jam our rods deep inside <clears throat> of their barrels to clean them. I really, I didn't need to say it like that. <laughs> and so much more. Guns are an integral part of Into the Radius. So I am fucking absolutely pumped to tell you our good friend Chuck just released another mod. So let's jump into it. This is Chuck's weapon mod 2.0 version. All right, boys, you are literally, your mind is going to be blown right now. This is basically a part two to the weapon mod that I showed you guys in the past, created by our good friend Chuck. I'm not quite sure if Chuck is like a wizard. This dude sure as shit knows how to make some mods. And in this mod, boys, we got a ton of replacements for guns, and we also got some new guns. Okay, I need to show you guys this. This is absolutely insane. Dude, you are going to be dazzled by this. Okay, so this is the new loading mechanic. Look at this, boys. Okay, I'm going to put some in here. All right, boom, bang, boom. I can still load from underneath here too, but you can also load the shotgun from the side now, dude. Look at this. Watch. Ooh, yeah, that's fucking sweet. Wow. Dude, look at this. And then you can just toss him out <laughs> holy shit bro watch this is about to be extremely satisfying that is actually amazing i am kind of in love with this new option that chuck gave us for loading shotguns this is almost too satisfying all right and a couple other things other than that brand new shotgun loading mechanic we also got a couple new retextures this is definitely one of the top ones that i've seen chuck do this is the sks this color definitely matches the vibe too just kind of a light brown weathered looking wood yeah dude that's nice 10 out of 10 yes i love it good job chuck however one thing that i did notice that's a a little fucky with this. <laughs> I have discovered a bug, my friend. This site literally just hovers. There's no rail that appears on this when you upgrade it. <laughs> that looks so freaking good, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the money shot, baby. That is a good ass looking gun, buddy. Yep, 10 out of 10. SKS looks freaking awesome. Look at the DTK suppressor. Look at this big chungus, dude. That is thicker than a that silencer is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, son. I literally said yeah. when I saw this silencer. <laughs> How still can I be? Realistically, I don't have anything to balance my elbow on. Let me see here. Oh, so close. <laughs> That's fatal, buddy. That's like inner thigh, dude. That would have him up he would be gushing blood right now bud literally just a couple inches away from the balls dude we were incredibly close so as you can see boys we got some beautiful suppressors okay all of the attachments in this update have been revamped everything's new dude it's all new all right buddy so the specter four times b scope okay we got a retexture for this baby and it looks oh it looks nice affected by heat a little bit looks like it's been sitting out in the sun a little bit that is a beautiful sight and then we have the weapon flashlight s attachment and weapon laser s attachment both got some amazing retextures and i'm still pretty damn sure that all of these models are imported from escape from tarkov this big ass scope that we all love to just throw on pistols got a really nice reskin dude i love that it's black now that is gonna match so well with every gun i have a great idea <laughs> this is the epitome of the Mosin. That is actually the most punk rock kick ass looking thing I've ever seen in the radius, dude. I, I recommend this gun if you like to party. You cannot tell me that that isn't the coolest that you've ever seen the Mosin look. If you have all of Chuck's mods installed for Into the Radius, then you get literally, I think it's every attachment in the game gets a retexture. I don't even know how Chuck does this. Look at this. These retextures for the pistol suppressor, dude. Oh my gosh. They look so damn good. Yeah, that's insane, dude. 
All right, boys, and as you can see, we also got a beautiful retexture for the PP91 in this case. Now, I never use this gun, like almost ever, dude, but I can definitely say that I'm probably gonna try it out now. Okay, the damage isn't like horrible, not amazing. Accuracy's pretty good, fire rate's pretty good. This is actually a pretty decent gun. Just uh, just kind of low damage. Dude, Chuck has seriously outdone himself this time. All right, and then I'm pretty sure I got all the other attachments too. Suppressors have all been updated. We got that covered. Completely redecked out attachments. Got a retexture for the MP5 too. Decked out with all of the new attachments, dude. I honestly love the MP5. Oh my gosh, that is insanely accurate. What? I think that I have been sleeping on the MP5. That's actually crazy. It literally feels like Christmas right now, brother. Walking out here makes me feel like that meme, that Silent Hill meme, where it's like the average experience of a dude walking home from a party, and it's then it just flashes to Silent Hill when you're walking through the forest and all the fog and everything. <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. Please take me home. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads. That's such a good song, dude. A little bit of John Denver in your life. Can I hear it? Can we get a W in the chat for John Denver? Holy shit. All right, boys, this is day two of me showing you guys the insane mod that is Chuck's 2.0 weapon mod for Into the Radius. Yesterday, some content that was supposed to be in the mod wasn't showing up. I re-downloaded a fresh version that Chuck uploaded yesterday on Nexus, and there are a lot of new guns that we got, okay? Yesterday, I showed you guys everything new as it pertains to the suppressors, new attachments, new rail S and rail B attachments. Ooh, there are even a couple more new additions that I get to show you guys today. The LPVO scope, we got a low power variable optic scope and a canted Viper B scope. They're literally two brand new additions to the game. They weren't here. Oh, that's brand new. OKP7 okay, dovetail. It's a dovetail version. Nice. <laughs> this is another new one, dude. Look at this. The MP5A2. I'm so glad that I got this mod officially working because I was thinking half the content was gone and I wasn't going to be able to show you guys it, but my prayers were answered last night, bro. We now have two new shotguns in here. On top of this beautiful side to 12K that I showed you guys, we now have an M870 and an M870 short. I'm really feeling the sawed off version, dude. And that's not even it, buddy. Oh my God. You guys thought the video was over. <laughs> Psych! Yeah, it's not over, dude. We have a lot of stuff here. Look at this. A casket magazine. 60 rounds. An AK-105 carbine version of the AK. Mm. And don't worry, there's more. The Block 2 M4 that we got in 1.0 version of Chuck's weapon mod for Into the Radius. And this one's honestly pretty insane. We have a, a big old fat rum mag right here that we can use. And we have a polymer magazine too that we can use on these new AKs. Look at that, boys. In the 1.0 mod, we got the RD704. Absolutely amazing version of the AK. And now we got the AK-103 and the AK-104. I don't understand how he put this many new guns into the game. I didn't know that we could do this. Oh my gosh, there it is. Buddy, I was looking at this one. We literally get a hunting rifle, bro. The R700 hunting rifle. <laughs> I bet you it's going to be so satisfying to cock that back, dude. Oh my gosh. Get ready, boys, because this is about to be insane. I really want to check. I really want to check this out. So let me see here. I'm going to put a couple right here. Yep. Okay. And then let's go ahead and take that off. Dude, yes. You can do the side loading. <laughs> so fun to do perfect what kind of attachments are on this baby plus two rail b attachment slots holy shit that's insane dude <laughs> look at that double laser sawed off shotgun i'm really liking this new mod boys i have to say okay i also want to see what it looks like with double flashlights on it oh there's something happening <laughs> whoa come on 
It doesn't seem to like double flashlights. But I do. Oh my gosh. Okay, double flashlights is a little, it does something to the gun. I don't know why. Something's happening right now. <laughs> All right, and then obviously we also have this classic full version of the Remington 870. Absolutely gorgeous, dude. Arguably though, I like the short version way more, dude. All right, what else have we got here for you today, boys? All right, boys, fully kitted out Saiga 12K. And this little lady packs a punch. I feel like you could actually shoot someone in half with this thing. <laughs> and you can fold the stock. Oh my gosh, that is sick as hell, dude. Dude, this is actually a monster of a shotgun. That looks so wicked, bro. Probably the coolest looking gun in the game now, dude. It's hard to believe this is a shotgun. It almost looks like an assault rifle. Now we got the MP5A2. Oh, yeah. Full auto. Hell yeah, son. Dude, that is just a match made in heaven. That looks so freaking good. Okay. You know what? I honestly don't know what's going on right now. I'm thinking maybe that is a magazine right here i think this is a magazine but i can't get it it's not there right now that's a shame but oh well as unfortunate as that is this is still an awesome looking gun i really wish i could find a magazine for that thing maybe i'm just an idiot let me know in the comment section if i'm just a big old fat dummy right now all right boys we have the ak 103 104 and 105 Chuck has decided to absolutely deck us out with AKs. So this is chambered in 545-39 rounds, and this baby is 762-39 rounds. This is the AK-104 and the AK-105. And the AK-103 is just a lighter version of the AK-104, and it is chambered in the exact same rounds. 762-39. Those are all the new AKs that we got. But, baby, look at this, boys. Look at this shit, son. We got a drum mag, and I'm pretty damn sure this is a 762-39 drum mag. Ho <laughs> ho It is. Ho <laughs> ho dude. No! Yes, dude. <laughs> My brain doesn't even know how to fucking process this right now. Wait, how many how many bolts are in this? Like a 75? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Look at that. Rail B gas tube upgrade for AK platform. Conflicts with hand guard upgrade can attach sight or accessories. And look at this quad rail hand guide for modernized AK platform. Dude, this is a lot. My mind has officially been fucking blown. This gun is definitely, definitely tickling a part of my brain right now. I need some attachments stat, dude. Okay. This is an unfair weapon to have in this game. <laughs> if you never want to lose ever again, dude, I would f*** a slider up so hard with this thing. In the case of the 76239 chambered AK, you probably want to get the drum back, dude, because this... Yeah, that's insane. I'm going to go test this out in the kill house really quick so that we can really get an idea of how OP that is. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm slow as shit. I'm so slow. Let's see if I can do a whole nother run with just this magazine still. Okay, let's see. All right, I just did two whole runs in the kill house. Still haven't changed out this drum magazine, so we're gonna try another. <laughs> I think there's 75 rounds in here, so. Oh, I knew we're gonna run out soon, dude. You can get through about two or three kill house runs just with this magazine. And again, this is the AK-104. This is actually scary, dude. Chuck is giving us way too much power in here. <laughs> I looked at the casket magazine on the AK-105, dude. <laughs> That is thick as shit, bro. I think this thing holds 60 
rounds? Yeah, 60 rounds, dude. What? This canted Viper B scope is very satisfying, honestly. I just love holding my gun like that. Slightly sideways, locked in right here. All right, and then we have this beautiful polymer magazine that fits this so well. I f***ing smoked myself, dude. I did better with the Glock than I did with the M4 block, dude. How do you do better with a Glock than with the M4? That's what I'm wondering. Not including the 1.0 version of Chuck's weapon mod. We have a couple of Remingtons, all right? My personal favorite is the sawed-off version. We have the MP5A2, AK-103, 105, and 104. With this insane drum mag, dude. I know that you guys are gonna love that. And then we have the PP91. This insane Saiga 12K. <laughs> that thing packs a fucking punch. And then the MP5K. All right, boys, that's literally every single gun in here. This was an incredibly comprehensive update, I must say. <laughs> Good job, Chuck. Round of applause for you, buddy. This is absolutely insane, dude. There are so many new guns in here that are gonna liven up your future Into the Radius playthroughs until we finally get Into the Radius 2. Which reminds me, go wishlist Into the Radius 2 on Steam if you haven't, dude. This game is gonna be crazy. Shout out to my members. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and allowing me to continue to be able to make content. And if you don't have a membership, please consider getting one. Become a part of the family. Have an awesome weekend dude if you haven't been outside in a while buddy f i hate to tell you this go touch some grass i need to too <laughs> and i will see you guys on the next one bye